We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of Jefferson football, Craig Hunter. Coach Hunter, your team gives Martinsburg a very tough battle in the first half, but the second half was a different story. Your team falls 42 to 12, falls to 1 and 3 overall, but still very impressive against Martinsburg. Something that I definitely did not expect. I'll come out and say that because I know you'll probably come out and say it as well uh, for me too, Coach Hunter there. Um, but overall, what were your thoughts on the game? Um, I thought, you know, the kids came out. I thought they fought hard in the first half. Um, you know, we played hard, played hard, I'd say a quarter away through the third quarter. And I think we just got I, – I, I don't – I feel like in watching the film, like we just got worn, like worn down a little bit. I think they just, they just wore us down a little bit. Um, but their, with their power running game, just kind of wore us down a little bit. And, and you know, I, I would say things just started a little spiraling out of control for us. So we couldn't stay. You know, we had problems in staying in front of the sticks, uh, which we were able to do all night long, staying in front of the sticks most of the night. Uh, you know, we were able to establish a running game early. Uh, and then able to use some so a little bit of play action, hit over and go over top. So, you know, and then uh, like I said, uh, first half uh, things kind of you know we had some things that happened for us. It was well, you know, we did real well in, in keeping them keeping them under control. Um, uh, second half, like I said, I think they just they just wore us down a little bit. And coach, you guys were able to control the possession time in that first half and hold Martinsburg to just two possessions. And uh, usually that doesn't really work out for teams that try to you know consistently milk the clock but what do you really credit that to for your team to have that success throughout the first half uh, I don't the, the game plan wasn't really to try to milk the clock I mean we just had so much success we were able to have so much success running the ball on Friday night that I think that just that played into a part of us being able to milk the clock because we like I said we were able to stay in front of the sticks keep favorable favorable and distances where we could just continue to run the ball. When you're running the ball and there's no incomplete passes, the clock just continues to run. Um, so I don't think that was that wasn't necessarily a game plan to try to milk the clock on them or slow the game down, anything like that. I just thought that the way the game played out for us is that's that's what happened. So I think that's we was able we were able to run the ball, uh, establish a running game. And I think that that played a big role in what we were able to do and how we were able to, you know, do what we did on Friday night. Big thing on both sides in the game was uh, penalties, especially of the uh, holding variety. How do you guys uh, make sure to clean that up going ahead uh, for the remainder of the year? I just uh, basically continue to work on technique. I mean, technique, footwork, foot placement, um, Understanding and understanding um, when the guy away from him, just let him go. I mean, at that point, just let him go because most of the time, a couple times, uh, I don't know how much uh, some would uh, too much of a bearing on the play anyway. But uh, they were they were holding calls. I can't deny that. But you know, they were some of them were inside, and we had already been we already been passed before the actual holding that happened. Some of them were actually happened real quick. And they, I mean, everything was holding call. I didn't, I didn't dispute any of the calls. So they were. Um, we just got to clean up our, clean up our technique and our footwork, and we'll be fine. And uh, throughout that game, especially in that first half when you guys were in in the game, uh, Tayshawn Roper, Dylan Herrick, doing good things. How much are you going to rely on those two guys moving forward? Um, and what can you say about their performance with the one and three start, though? How how important will it be for those guys to really just continue to step up and play good football for you? I mean, I think um, they're going to continue to hopefully continue to be able to do that for us. Um, but you know, it, we we already we've already established that you know we start off slow. We've we've seen a gradual increase in our in our play each week. So I, I continually think that we've gotten better from game one to game two to game three to now to game four that we've played better each week and we continually hopefully we'll play better this week and hopefully we can grab a win this week as we continually play better and as we continually get better each week as the season goes on. I, I feel that we, you know, we can probably do what we plan on doing uh, is uh, 
we got behind a little bit in the season as far as win losses that now we can start to you know, we were playing for playing for positioning uh, in the playoffs. Uh, playing for positioning and the right to maybe see if you can get at least one home game instead of having to travel every week. So um, if we continually get better each week like we have been, I think we're going to put ourselves in a position to where we can um, maybe get ourselves a favorable position in the playoff spot. So hopefully we'll do that. We'll continue to do that. And these kids can um, keep them keep their wits about them and play hard and play well the rest of the way. It's a short week of uh, preparation as you guys get ready to take on Hedgesville now on Thursday due to a referee shortage. The game's been moved to Thursday night at Hedgesville. With it being a short week, what kind of changes in the uh, approach for a game? Um, just just the days of what we have to do for preparation. Uh, you know, usually have um, Tuesday and Wednesdays, usually your hard work days, um, and then Thursdays, usually a walkthrough. So now, uh, you know, Monday we kind of do like a install game plan type of thing on Mondays. So we had to we had to kind of amp that one up a little bit on Monday. Um, usually we don't do a lot of anything on Monday except for just walk through the game plan, show them what we're trying to do, show them how they're going to line up against our sets, what we think we're going to do, what we have. We kind of had to amp that up a little bit yesterday uh, and do a little bit more than we would do on a Monday. Uh, today we'll, we'll go out. We'll, hopefully we'll be able to get out and get after it again, get after it today. Um, and then Wednesday, Wednesday's a walkthrough. Uh, and then Thursday we'll play. Uh, so, you know, but the thing is, I guess it gives us a little, little bit more rest for the next week. But you know, uh, we just gotta make sure we just keep everybody. You know, they're playing a little a day earlier, so we're hitting a little bit sooner in the week. So just trying to manage a little bit better, so we don't we don't wear anybody down uh, with a short week. What stands out to you about Hedgesville this year? Um, you know, they they've been able to you know they snag they snag some wins early in the season. Um, they uh they get after you. I mean, they just get after you. Uh, they they change the offense up. They're going to try to um, they're going to try to pound you. They move the um, they move they move the the older Faircloth son. They move him around. I've seen I've seen him at a H back. I've seen him at on the line. You know, uh, they want to try to run behind him, which is a smart thing to do. Uh, he's a physical kid, uh, so. That's what I would do. I'd run right behind him. So, I mean, that's what they're going to do. Um, they're going to try to establish a running game against us, and the next thing you know, they're going to probably try to spread us out and see if they can throw the ball uh, with us. Uh, they got the Gavin Young kid. He's pretty good. He's a good receiver. Uh, you know, uh, Milburn, I think it's Chaz Milburn. I think that's his name. Is that the quarterback? Yes. Uh, I believe, you know, he's got a decent arm. Uh, so, you know, uh, they're going to do a little mixture of things. Uh, we got to prepare for everything. A little bit of the... Uh, I think it's like it's more like a wing T set, a little bit of wing T based principles, and then they'll come out and spread you out. So we got to be ready for everything they're going to throw at us, especially in a short week. You know, you know, you're trying to prepare and get done, get ready quickly, and try to get all the information to the to the kids as quick as you possibly can, so they can be prepared and understand how to make calls and adjustments on the field. What are some other things that you feel like you guys need to do to get back into the win column this week against Hedgesville? Um, just play mistake free football. You know, play mistake-free football. We preach that all the time. Um, just mistake-free football, play assignment football, technical football. And, um, you know, if you do that, if you do that, most of, most of the time you're going to come out on top. So we continue to do that. Do that, Then I believe that we can come out on top on, on Thursday night. Uh, but we have to play, you know, mistake-free football, assignment football, and, and try to follow the game plan to the best of our abilities. What we set forth. If we do that, I think I think we'll have a, a good night on Thursday. Let's get to the fun question then for you, Coach Hunter. You ready? Yes. All right. Fun question. Do you have any pregame uh, rituals, or are you a superstitious guy? Do you have any superstitions uh, going in for a game? Um, I try not to, but there are some times that I do. Um. I haven't had any really this year yet. Um, I know uh, the one year we went nine and one. Uh, it was um, I didn't cut my hair. 
because we were winning. So I didn't cut my hair or shave until after we lost. So I, that was that was a superstition. I felt like that was I didn't I didn't do anything until we lost. And then you know, uh, that was just one. But I haven't done anything this year yet. But uh, I, I try not to be try not to be superstitious. But you know sometimes those things just get a hold of you. But I try not to work. I try not to dabble in that too much. But it happens. <laughs> All right, Coach Hunter, best of luck on Thursday, and we may or may not be seeing you, so take care. All right. All right, you too. Thank you.